A new exhibit at the Minneapolis Central Library takes a look at a, a part of America's painful past. The art and artifacts were collected by Justice Alan Page and his wife Diane over the past 30 years. It was inspired by the recent resurgence of racial tension in our country. And as Reg Chapman shows us, it is simply called Testify. From the moment students from Justice Page Middle School walked into the exhibit Testify, they were transported back to a time and place in history that some may find painful to recall. It's very powerful to see how we came to be. Powerful is the perfect word to describe this collection. They don't represent somebody's opinion. They don't represent what somebody thinks. They represent facts and what people did. It features bricks made by slaves used to build the White House and a slave collar used in Virginia in the 1820s. I don't understand it, but I know it existed. And that's, I think, the important part about all of these objects, particularly the objects of oppression. Like this painting from the 1940s showing black children enjoying a swimming pool. Well, the reason it's called only on Thursday, they were only allowed in the pool on Thursday because they were cleaning the pool on Friday. Think about that. I mean, it, it moves me to tears as I stand here. Messages of Jim Crow era signage made many stop in their tracks. How we can move forward and make sure history doesn't repeat itself. Amazed at what was and concerned that it could once again be. But the hope is that they will learn which we did not learn. Ken Dolliger and his wife Sonia are students of life and feel this exhibit should spark conversation amongst all who see it. Justice Page believe it's a conversation long overdue and necessary in order for us to truly be the United States of America. And the one thing we've never dealt with is the present effects of that history, the present effects of that past discrimination. And if we're ever going to be one country, as the Lincoln banner says, we have to address the present effects of that past. Rich Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The exhibit runs until February 6th in the Cargill Hall at Minneapolis Central Library.